Duke Vedmeyer was the Stop one that Scanlan went to. Now, as the rain pours down, Scanlan decided to open from a, a polymorph <laughs> spell as a fly to the top of the front doorstep oh. of, uh, <laughs> of Vedmeyer's home. <laughs> Then proceeding to unpolymorph and then repolymorph himself into a triceratops. Yeah. I turn into a triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have a triceratops, but I did have a stegosaurus. <laughs> the same size, so or the sorry, blood spike behemoth. As you slam your way into the front of uh, of uh, Duke Vedmire's estate, pieces of wood blasting outward, scattering wow. amongst the center of the foyer, you see before you a rising staircase that divides into two separate staircases that curl around to the second level. Lovely um, decor. <laughs> you also notice, oh, shit. at first you notice, that oh, the uh, the entire interior is currently filled with guards. <gasps> all seemingly prepared and almost expecting your arrival. At the top of the staircase, you see- I think I can see, take them, guys. <laughs> I think I can take them. <laughs> uh, you also see at the top uh, Duke Vedmeyer himself, a okay, large, uh, hairless, gray-skinned Goliath wielding a giant two-handed sword armored with a, a breastplate. Yeah, so here's the thing, here's the thing. I should probably leave. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yes. But come on, I'm a Triceratops. I gotta have some fun first, right? You can take a couple hit points, right? I'm gonna turn right and blast through that door. Uh, me and doors don't get along <laughs> too well. <laughs> you running and you slam your head through the uh, horns, protruding and tearing through the wood. The doors <clears throat> break inward, but the doors don't fully oh, blast sh- inward. The door beat me! <laughs> the door's in bad shape. Um, the doors it won't take too much more power to These blast fucking through. The doors are bloody in this kingdom. <laughs> it's, it's now your worst nemesis. Aim! Fire! Oh, <laughs> A bunch of crossbow bolts get loosed at once through the middle of the room. 34 points of piercing damage from oh. this volley. Well, shit, then. I gotta, I gotta get some retribution. Totally. <laughs> Turn around and give it to him. As you blast through, it's a dining room with a central dining room table, two small uh, tables at the far corners. There's a 10 foot window across the way. It appears to be a normal dining room set. I don't have any fire. I don't know why I was sent into this mission. I don't do fire things. Um, How did this plan happen then? It's a great, it's a great plan. Why did you say I don't have fire? I mean, I guess I could have. I said, hey, Scanlan, I should come with you. And you said, oh, I'm. I could take care of myself. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you guys? I don't need your help. The, the echoing voice you hear in the back of your mind as you imagine this is what Keyleth would be saying right now. <laughs> peek, peek around the corner a little bit. Just okay. make sure they're all there. Yeah. And I will stinking cloud all of them. Okay. <laughs> all right. Are you not mentioning Dora you there? I gotta have no. some fun first. No. <laughs> How often am I gonna take on a whole like house it. by myself? All of a sudden, the entire foyer just fills up with this greenish, noxious cloud of, of poisonous gas. Immediately, you just kind of like cover their mouths and pull up these little bit of material they have around their, their chest plate armor to cover their mouth. The rest of them start <coughs> acting up. One of them starts just vomiting all over the ground. He has a helmet on, so it's kind of like strained through its yes. oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> I will. Duck under the table, okay. so they think that's where I went. Okay. And then dimension door to the roof. Okay. <laughs> You're now fun. up on the rooftop. There's rain pouring down. You're immediately soaked from the heavy uh, storm that's now coming into Whitestone. And then I start digging through my pockets if I have any flint or fire making apparatus at all. Oh wait, I do have something. Yeah, you do? We do. Yeah, yeah. I have a potion of fire breath. Okay, you pull up, pull the cork off. I don't know what it, this thing does. I just got this. As you feel the, the, the fluid find its way down your esophagus, it, it warms it like a fine whiskey would, but the warmth just grows and grows to the point where it's almost too hot, but it never quite reaches the point where it's painful, but you feel as if like this need to belch is burbling within your stomach, and at any given point in time, you could let that belch fly forward. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda lean over the side and just Scorch the whole front entrance. <laughs> this gnome appears, soaking wet, over the edge uh, of the roof, and then just releases this gout of fire that blankets the front of the building, catching flames on uh, all the portions of the front part of the second and parts of the first story, uh, including the top of the entryway that you had already smashed through as a triceratops, which exposed a lot of dried wood, yeah. uh, and immediately bursts into flame. As it, as you complete 
uh, that breath and you kind of inhale for a second, uh, you hear voices now starting to shout from the inside of the house. <laughs> you can't really make up the noises, but it sounds like there's panic now starting to hit from the inside. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's amazing. <laughs> You're doing this so well. Great. Not that it's we so ever great. do. Yeah. yeah. So I'll run over to the back side of the house and do the same thing. Okay. You just managed to like slide across the roof, grab the edge, reach over and... <laughs> <laughs> Both sides of the house now appear to be on fire. Looking over your shoulder, you can see now there's a pillar of black smoke rising up yes! from the front of the building. You also do see on the opposite side a hatch <gasps> slam open, and you oh, see shit. a giant, meaty Goliath hand. Oh no! Shit! Oh! <laughs> now, stepping out into the rain, you see the, the Goliath Duke Vedmire step up with his two handed sword. Big Bass hand! Uh, so I call forth Bigby's hand, and I I will force him off the roof. Yeah! <laughs> yes! So you create the hand next to him, and as he's kind of start stepping forward towards you with his sword at the ready, there's a shimmer in the air as a giant, kind of vaguely purplish, arcane hand all of a sudden appears. He looks confused for a second and rears back to try and attack it. As the hand pulls back, boof, and goes rushing forward towards him. Uh, I want you to go ahead and make a strength check. 17 plus 8. <gasps> Oh, natural one. Ah! Of course. Yes, we had a today. Oh my god. Of course. I'm gonna kill everyone in this motherfucking house. <laughs> he was pushed off to this side. The hand he seems holding against it, but the hand eventually scoops him up and actually gets him off of his feet and like shock puts him <laughs> off the roof. He plummets backward <laughs> off the side of the roof, and you wait a second here. <laughs> Prone. You can't get this on Down network there. television. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> you should burn us. Burn the, burn in the hatch and then get out. Okay. Uh, okay. Kind of punch myself in the gut. <laughs> 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 okay. As you reach over, you look down, and there is a ladder that leads up to the front, and there are two guards that are currently making their way up to the roof. They look up and see you. Their, their eyes go wide within their helmets, and as you release the flames, all you see is their faces go. <laughs> engulfing the entire tunnel. So, I, I, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm going to simultaneously make Bigby's hand try to catch me. Okay. At the bottom. All right. Uh, you trust fall off. Oh. Your eyes kind of somewhat closed and letting it happen. Come on, Bigby, catch me. And in the, <laughs> in the moment that you expect ground to meet you with a heavy, hard smack of reality, a soft cushion of arcane energy oh. catches you as these kind of uh, spiritual, you know, purplish fingers curl around and gently bring you to the ground. Oh. Baymax. Don't get handsy, Big B. Trespasser, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Locked! Locked! Fucking locked! Roll well, to see if you hit me. Uh, hi. <laughs> Gentlemen, to your health. Oh. No? Yeah, I really thought that would do something. Oh, oh hell yes! Um, you know what? Let me just... Uh-oh. Okay, last one. Please be something good. Get away! Everybody that was convenient. <laughs> Thing, but not the right time. <laughs> Scroll. I've read this stupid thing a hundred times. But I've never sung it. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Never schnevon! I'll fill it you and use your bones for. Huh? <laughs> 
Nicely on my wall. Oh, wait, please, please. is over. You're weak, you're small, and in this world, that means you lose. Wait, wait, wait! It's true. Of all talk, everyone thinks I'm a joke. But the brothels have taught me one thing. Size doesn't matter. It's how you use it. <laughs> Annoying piece of shite! And you've been a lovely audience. And don't forget to tip your server. Good show, Scanlon. Scanlon, what are you doing? <laughs> 